Hey everyone, today we're going to cover the differences in choosing a television or monitor to use while you game. This is super important because if you don't know what your preferences are as far as gaming goes then it's really easy to get lost in all of the terminology out there. So let me break down how these two devices compare so that way you can make an informed decision before buying anything. Understanding the basics While this should not need a lot of explanation to all the people who are already aware of the situation, but if you are a newcomer who is not sure about what they are getting into, it is better to get some things out of the way with the help of few terms that are going to be very common in the market. Resolution Simply put, this is the amount of pixels a screen is able to display. You get 1080p, 1440, and 2160p. These are some of the most common resolutions that you are going to find in displays. Refresh rate, as the name suggests, this refers to the number of times per second a screen will refresh the image. 60HC is the most common in TV and some older monitors. However, on higher-end monitors and TV, you are now getting better and higher refresh rate. Of course, with an increased refresh rate, you should expect paying a higher price, too. Response time This refers to the amount of time it takes for a single pixel to go from one color to another color. Ideally, the lower the response time, the better. Input lag This is tied to the response time and serves as a direct measurement for your actions registered on the screen. As always, the lower the response time, the better. HDR, HDR or high dynamic range is used by newer monitors or TV that allow for a richer color reproduction along with better darkness and brightness levels. TV versus monitor for gaming who wins. Image quality and HDR. I know this might not come as a surprise to some but TV are generally a lot better than monitors when it comes to delivering image quality and providing a greater quality of HDR. This is something that TV have been doing for a long, long time and although monitors are slowly catching up, too. TV are always a few steps ahead and therefore win this part. Input lag When you are looking at the input lag, monitors easily win this. Sure, there are higher-end TV that are available in the market that are getting better and better at providing lower input lag. Monitors have been doing it for a long time and are still offering it across the board. Refresh rate and VRR. Now, this is a bit more complicated than I would like. For starters, TV have been offering higher refresh rate, but right now, we are only going as high as 120 HD for that, you have to spend a good chunk of money. The same goes for having VRR because you cannot just get these technologies on average TV. On the other hand, monitors have been offering both these technologies for some time and are more affordable when it comes to these technologies too allowing the monitors to take the win. Pricing For the competitive gamers who are looking to save money but also get the best, getting an affordable gaming monitor with high refresh rate and low input lag is a much better offering and easy, to be honest. On the other hand, if you want the same and more on a TV, then you are more than likely to spend more money and that is why a lot of people have issues. This easily gives the gaming monitors a win here. Comfort Last but not the least, we are talking about the comfort level and honestly, I have been using the LG C9 for almost over a year and the experience here is so much better simply because I can sit on my chair or I can sit on my couch if I feel like it. Allowing me to have the best of both worlds without having to get up all the time or trying to adjust the distance. TV easily win this one. Thanks for making it to the end. If you find this video helpful please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. And, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. See you in the next video.